Hello everyone, welcome to another short guide tutorial video. The video that I will be running right here in the background is probably known to all of you, at least the bigger portion of you. It's my short guide tutorial on how to fix Twitch buffering using Tarts Player. It's a small program, if you haven't seen the video, the link will be right here. On top of this one, it will open a new tab, so you'll be able to click on it and go see what Tarts Player is about. Very cool and simple to use too for a great solution on how to remove the stutter and buffering from the Flash player used on the Twitch.tv website. In addition to this, because that's a new player, many people are actually forced to use pop-up chat, as I've explained on the video. There is another very elegant and much more modern and useful solution on how to use chat with a lot of more specific, ded specific dedicated to Twitch features available to both streamers, viewers, and followers. It is an IRC client called Chatty. Very short and simple installation. Type Chatty in Google. Visit the website, which is, which is the first link. There are very good uh, short guides and explanations on what to do after you install the program. It doesn't require much. If you are a viewer or a follower and you would like to support your favorite streamer, you can do that by just using this client and stay in the RC chat to have a conversation with whoever stops by. You wouldn't believe how many people visit and leave the streamer's chat all the time, not just when the stream is online. There are people coming and going uh, even when the streamer is offline. Sometimes they want to ask something, sometimes they don't. RC group chat used to be a very popular thing about 10, 15 years ago in the early days of IRC and ICQ, for those of us who remember ICQ. But without further ado, this is how my chat looks like. The blue text is people who join and leave. That happens a lot. And when I'm streaming or actually using actively chatty, I turn that feature off. It's located here. View options, show, join, show joins and parts. It's annoying spam. And uh, during every one of my live streams, I get hundreds of people who join and leave for many different reasons. Some don't have time to sit longer. Some just come here and check out. Others come here and don't like what they see and they leave. But the most important fact is the blue text is annoying. And I would advise you to turn it off, especially if you're a viewer. It's extremely simple. I'm connected already, but the way to do it is you load up Chatty, you click connect. You have to authenticate yourself with your account on Twitch. Chatty is directly connected with Twitch. You can display specific Twitch icons, smileys, and everything else, uh, including special icons from uh, subscriber features for if, you're, if you're subscribed to big streamers and partners. Type your own name to connect to your chat. And as simple as that, you're already connected. If you want to visit another chat from the channel menu, click join chat and type your friendly streamer's name, not the whole name of the stream, but the whole URL, just the name. In my case, I'm going to use Engage's uh, chat channel. He is a very popular Star Wars The Old Republic streamer. He's streaming pretty much all the day and all night very dedicated streamer and player, and he's one of the people I enjoy talking to and watching when I'm not playing or streaming myself. You have a menu for favorites and history. If you prefer, you can add some people to your favorites. If you don't, you don't need to. Retype it now, just click join, and you'll get a second tab with your friend's channel. That's my name, and in a couple of seconds, up to a minute, sometimes there is a little bit of delay, the names of the other people who are also in the channel will appear, and if you have ever used IRC, you will feel familiar with every, everything else around. There are tons and tons of features which I don't intend to cover right here in this short video. They are most dedicated features to streamers and people who actually care about uh, the stats from their channels. There are incredibly huge amount of options and settings. If you really want to know something specific, please feel free to ask me during my live streams or when I'm not streaming. RC in general and Chatty specifically is a very good way to stay connected to your favorite streamers or just people you enjoy talking to. I personally keep my Chatty online most of the time, even when I'm not streaming, because people come by, ask questions, say hello and other things like that. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you'll find it useful. 
And if you haven't subscribed yet to my second channel, please do so. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, you can find me also on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. For my non Star Wars activities, I invite you to subscribe to my second YouTube channel.